Hi, my name is Alicia, and yesterday on my Microsoft Tip of the Day, I actually wrote a blog about things that you need to do once you copy data from one environment to another. So typically that would be that you're copying your production data down to a test environment so you can do some testing and some different things. Well, when you do that copy, there are a number of things that Microsoft actually disables. Uh, in the copy and down to your test environment. So the blog that I wrote yesterday, and you can reference it here on my website, uh, goes through that list of things that you want to check on or maybe even enable again. One of those very specifically was users. And I want to call this out because whenever you copy the data, say from prod down to test, the system actually disables um, all of the users except for the admin user. And I want to show you how to update those or enable those users using the Excel add-in. Now, it could also be that you want to disable users. Um, maybe you're going to want to lock everyone out of the system, or maybe you've had um, multiple people leave the company and you want to disable a group of people and not just manually one at a time. So what I want to do is go into D365 and show you how to update the enable flag on the user record using the Excel add-in. So to do that, we're going to go under System Administration and then Users and Users. Once you're here, you're going to see this column here called Enabled. So if it's got a check mark on it, that means it is enabled. If it's not selected, then that means it's not enabled. The user is not enabled. So we're going to go up here and hit this little button that looks like a window. This says Open in Microsoft Office. And we're going to select this User Information. And then we're going to pick Download. And that's going to open in Excel, and it's going to look like this. And when you're in here, you're going to notice that by default, you do not see the column for Enabled. So what you want to do is you're going to go to Design in the lower right-hand corner. And once this opens, we're going to click the little Edit button. So here you can see it says Table, and there's a pencil. It says Edit, so you're going to click that. And then we're going to go down here to Enabled and double click. You'll notice it gets removed from the list. We're going to click Update, Yes, and then Done, and then Refresh, and then Yes, we do want to continue. And you'll notice we have this column here. When it refreshes, it's not going to say True. So True means that the user is enabled. False means it's not checked, which means they're not enabled. So we're going to just do one record here, just as an example. Um, and how to do that. So here I'm going to type in the word false. All right. And before I actually publish this back, let's take a look in D365. So we're going to pick on Brad Sutton here. You can see Brad is enabled. So now if I go back over here to Excel and hit publish and go back into D365, hit the refresh button, you're going to see that Brad is no longer enabled. So the check mark is, has been removed. If I want to enable him again, I'm just going to go up here and say true. Oops, typed in true wrong. And publish. And when I go back over here and refresh, we can see that he's enabled. So the next time you need to enable or disable users, I hope you take advantage of the Excel add-in.